I'm going to make a patio pond. I'm going to use this big clay pot. Of course, in order to do that, I have to seal it both inside and out. Inside so it doesn't leak, outside so it doesn't sweat. And I got this clay pot and the sealant at a local garden center. Of course, a clay pot has a hole in the bottom of it. And so I took an ordinary piece of roofing rubber, EPDM, and some silicone sealant and glued the roofing rubber over the hole in the bottom of the pot, leaving the corners up. The reason I left the corners up is if I ever want to drain this, I can reach in there, grab the corner, and rip the roofing rubber loose and let the water out. And I got a neat supply of plants. Water gardening is fun. I got some water lilies, water hyacinth, water iris. I even got a few goldfish, so there's some life in my pond. Not everybody has room for a water garden in their yard, but you can have a patio pond on your deck or patio, even if you live in an apartment, and I'll show you how. But first, we have to realize that water lilies want to be down at the bottom, but water irises are bog plants and need to be up near the surface. So we have to construct a couple of layers inside our pool, and then we can go to town. An easy way to make that shelf to support our bog plants is to take an ordinary nursery pot and cut it in such a way that we can use it as a shelf for our bog plants, but at the same time, we can fit our water lily underneath it. That way we'll have plenty of room inside for all the plants we'd like to have in there. With part of the side of the pot cut out, we'll be able to set our upside down pot in the clay pot it will still have room for the water lily to sit beneath it. And this will become a relatively sturdy shelf for our bog plants. But one more little tip. I want the sound of water. And a good way to get it is to have a water pump in there with a hose attached to it. And I want the hose to come right up through the shelf. With the hole drilled, we insert the tubing that we then connect to the pump. And if the pump fitting doesn't want to fit onto the tubing very easily, it might help to moisten it just a little bit, and then it'll fit snugly. Next, we put our water lily in the bottom of the pot. And then put our shelf over the water lily. And now it's time to fill the pot with water. That's enough water. And now let's put our plants and fish in. First, the water iris. Remember that this is a bog plant. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It needs to set up where it's partly out of the water. So we've added a rock or two to keep it up there. And the fish. Our fish need to float in their bag for about 20 minutes to equalize the temperature of their water that they're in at the temperature of the water of our pot. And then our floating plants, the water hyacinth, and then last, our oxygenating plants, the anacharis. The oxygenating plants will help to keep the algae down while at the same time producing oxygen that'll help the fish survive. And now let's see how our pump is working. Remember that we made it adjustable. We can pull this hose up or push it down as we need to in order to get the amount of sound that we want. And with that correctly adjusted, we've got a water feature for our patios or our decks.